Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Marielle and thank you so much for watching. So today I was kind of, well, my friend was kind enough to send me a box of all kinds of goodies to try out and she has a couple dupes for me to test out. I have a dupe of my own to test out. Um, so I want to see kind of, or drugstore versus Lux or whatever you want to call it, um, to see how they perform, you know, kind of side by side. So we'll kind of do a split face and see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I have new products to try out also. She sent me so many eyeshadow palettes, so I'll have to try those out in the future. It's really awesome of her. So she actually, sorry, <laughs> she sent me the Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette, which is a super cute little bright guy. She sent me the LA Girl Surreal Dream Palette, which is super cute too. A lot of cool shimmers in here. Um, and then she sent me the iconic London palette, which is humongous. She's a big mama, big mama here, um, which is all like really pretty nudes. This is, I don't know if it has a, like a name. You know, palettes usually have names, I don't see ones. And then she sent me these super cute little quads from e.l.f. So, so many different eyeshadow. Um, to try, she sent me more, but we're going to try some of them today actually. And then she sent me a brand new mascara, my favorite. So, thank you, girlfriend, for hooking it up. You know who you are. Love you. Um, but yeah, today I thought it would be fun to do a little filming. Like I said, I have new products to try, I have a couple dupes, and yeah. So, if you want to see who wins, keep on watching. So, I zoomed this in a little bit. Don't mind me being winded. I'm pregnant, I'll probably be winded forever for the rest of my life um but i wanted to do um i wanted to use the tarte base tape kind of all over as a moisturizing primer and then i have two that we'll use kind of in our pore area so kind of use this around the perimeter of my face where i'm dry on my forehead where i'm also dry i really like this primer it smells really good it smells like coconuts which is nice and it's just a hydrating primer I got that in my one of my boxy charms okay let me go my hair fix the old hair all right so the two that I have is are the Tatcha silk canvas uh, pore filling primer and the elf Poreless Putty Primer. I know the Elf one was sold out for a while because of this, but you can see they look pretty similar, like in color and texture. The Elf one's obviously considerably larger uh, and it's a lot cheaper, but we will try both and see. I've used them both sporadically. I don't use them all the time, so um, and this they don't have colors. They're just kind of universal so I'm just going to dig into the e.l.f. one and I don't like that much and I'm going to apply it on the right side of my face and I'm just going to pat it kind of pat it in these are supposed to smooth out your pores kind of blur them fill them in this one kind of a little bit of a residue I feel like Maybe because I haven't used it in a while, but okay. That's what that looks like. You can kind of tell a difference. It looks a little like lighter in color. And then, so that was the Elf Poreless Putty Primer on this side, and now we will take a little bit of the Tatcha Silk Primer and. On the other side, the left side, kind of tap it in also. And on the side, the nose. So this one has a residue too, so maybe it's just a mix of like the primer underneath both of them, the other primer. Um, 
So at least that's like equal for both. It's not just the elf one. I think this little one, this is the travel, um, retails for like 20, maybe 22 bucks. And this, I don't know, maybe six or 12 bucks. So that's that. So I think I'm going to put foundation on all over, just one. No dupe here. I'm going to use my Josie Marin uh, Vibrancy Foundation. I haven't used this in a long time. And I have a tiny bit of a tan from like doing some yard work the past couple weeks since it's been a little bit nicer here. So I'm going to put that on. This is the color RG30. And she sent me a Wet n Wild um, sponge too, so I'm going to try that out. It's super, super soft. Probably the closest I've felt... I think this is the e.l.f. sponge. This is really soft. And then obviously the Beauty Blender. So this is pretty close to how the Beauty Blender feels. I'm sure it's significantly cheaper. So I'm going to try that out really quick. I haven't used this foundation in a minute. I do love this foundation. It has good coverage. It's like a satiny, dewy finish. It's not matte. I can't do matte foundations. So I will say on this side where the e.l.f. primer is, it looks pretty good. Um, let's just go up here. Continue to blend that out. This sponge is really soft. I like it. A lot of sponges are just so dense that you feel like you're hitting your face with like a hard, hard rock or something. Not that they're soft rocks, but you get what I'm saying, okay? You get it. Yeah, I just really like this foundation. I haven't used it in a while. All right, let's try it on the other side where we use the other primer. See how it looks. Okay, to get in the crevice of the nose, by the ear, down the neck. Sometimes I try to blend out just looking in like my little, uh, my laptop that I have that, you know, kind of reflects my camera, but it's hard. It's hard because it's backwards. Like your image is opposite. All right, let's see how we, I don't know if you can see, but difference. Let's see as of right now, they both look pretty good. Put concealer on. Concealer is really um, telling for me. It plays me a lot. So let's put some concealer on and see what happens. So I think I want to try. I have this concealer from the brand Mad Hippie that I bought a while ago. And I haven't tried it yet. So this is a clean brand. Really affordable brand too. Um, so I want to try this out. Let's see what that looks like. Pretty creamy consistency, easy to blend. I'm going to take the same beauty blender. It looks like it's like disappearing. See that? It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It like almost dries to nothing. It looks, dries like clear. It's so weird. Alright. I don't know about that. It's bizarre. I think I want to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I really like the way this looks. This is a hydrating one. The other one is way too dry for me. But this one is hydrating, it's got good coverage, and it doesn't really crease. 
on me, which is nice. Because I'm crazy. Crazy. And that concealer, the e.l.f. one is like six bucks. And that is this shade Light Sand. When I didn't get too light, I don't go like super bright under the eye. Just enough to make you look awake. You haven't been staying up till 4 a.m. during quarantine because you can't sleep. Because your dreams are weird. Alright. So. I fix my hair. I'll be back. Alright. I have two similar brushes so we can set our face. Because setting powder is the one thing that I do have. One of the things I have a dupe for. Where is Oh, anyway, so one thing my friend sent me was the number seven light and illuminate triple action translucent finishing powder. She said this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder, which I love. She knows that. That's why she sent it to me. It's a much more affordable option. Um, so let's open her up and compare. So this is what the number seven powder looks like, brand new. This is what my Charlotte Tilbury one looks like. So color-wise, they're very similar. This one might be a tad bit darker, um, but really close. And I love this powder, but we are gonna try them out. So I really enjoy this brush that I got in my BoxyCharm from the brand Opulent Beauty, and this is a bullet brush. Uh, I really like it, it's really soft, really nice for the under eye, so I'm just gonna tap out my crease over there, and we're gonna dip into the number seven powder and see what she's, or maybe, hmm, maybe I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury one first, and we'll do it on this side, since that's the more expensive side, we'll stick with that. Just kind of pick it up with my brush, Let's see it here, and just tuck it under. It's just such a nice powder. It like mattifies and sets, but doesn't look heavy. So this is without. Oh, this is without. Durr. This is with. And then we'll go in with a different brush, the other brush, into the number seven powder and set that guy and see what that's like. So this. So, let's see. I will say as far as under eyes, this one looks like a little more, um, kind of like wrinkly, I will say. The Charlotte Tilbury one, and this one has less. That could be just how my eyes are, but so far, so good. I mean, I still like them both. Uh, but... I would say, yeah, they look pretty close. They're both like light under the eyes, nothing like too heavy or cakey, like I said, so nice. It's always good to have an affordable backup because you see this one is hitting pan, so awesome, awesome. Next, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna do my brows and bronze and then we'll be back to do eyes and highlight. All right, I'm back. I decided not to do bronzer because I just don't feel like it is necessary. I just did some blush. I used the blush um, Trist from Honey Bee Gardens. They are an affordable, clean brand. They also make my favorite lip liner in perfection that I wear all the time. Uh, and you can get them on Amazon, which is cool. Convenient. So, 
I do have a new highlight that she sent me. This is a Master Chrome uh, by Maybelline Rose Gold Molten. That's what that's the name. <laughs> so she is pretty. If I can get it open, this is what it looks like. What she looks like. Swatcher. I've never tried these before. I've tried the that's pretty. I've tried the wet and wild ones. Their highlight, and those are pretty nice. Um, but I haven't tried these. So let's take this little guy from Morphe. This is the Y14. We're just gonna dip into this gal right here. Looks like a lot comes off. Let's see. Ooh. Wow, she is pigment. Very nice. I'm just gonna go over that a little bit. I'm not going for full aggression today. Highlight, but that is really pretty. Without, with the other side. It's really pretty. Yes. People always do this with their finger on the tip of their nose. Will it work for me? Let's not get crazy. Cute. That's really pretty. So again, that's the Master Chrome um, in the color rose gold molten which is weird that molten's at the end of that but it is <clears throat> okay so one of the the last dupe that i have is she sent me the natasha denona cranberry palette comes in this little package here and this is what she looks like really cute and she actually sent me oops these two little guys from e.l.f. to see if we can get some dupes out of them because they have similar, very similar colors. Now, well, won't be doing a dupe if we can't get it open. E.l.f. Get your shit together. It's unnecessary. Oh, gosh. Got it. Got it. So this is the Berry Bad palette, and let's see if I can get this show. Peel for a little pick me. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? This whole thing comes off. Oh, nice, nice. That was easier. <laughs> when you actually read directions, things are a little bit easier. <clears throat> and this is the cream and sugar palette which if you look these two guys look very similar not with this glass on these two guys they don't look on camera but in person they look very similar so we are going to dig in and <clears throat> see what we get. The colors aren't exact. Okay. I get that. So they're not going to be exact. But we're looking at performance. Okay. They're doing what they need to do. All right. Brushes. I think we're okay. So what I want to dig into first, on both sides, is going to be the darkest one in each palette, which is gonna be the last one in the berry palette and then the second to last in this guy. The one in the elf palette is more of a brownie maroon. Um, and then this one is more like a purpley. So we'll see how they kind of compare. Um, all right, let's, let's stop talking. Stop talking and get started. Alright, so I'm going to dip into the e.l.f. palette first. 
they don't have individual names. I don't think like shade names. But I'm gonna go here. Place that down. Ooh. Oh, she's deep. Look at that. Wow. Super pigmented. That was really easy to blend. I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed. All right, let's go with the other eye. With what's this little guy? Into the Natasha Denona one, the purple one, and see what we got. But you can definitely tell like the shade difference, right? This one clearly has more purple. This one has more brown. But they're performing pretty well, both of them. Natasha Denona is pretty expensive. I was able to snag one of these little ones during a Sephora sale for like 12 bucks, which isn't bad, but if you get like her full palettes, I know they're like easily over a hundred bucks. Which I think is kind of insane because if everybody else can do it, for not a hundred bucks, like what's your deal? But so far, so good. Like I said, colors are different, a little different. This one's more brown, this one's more purple. Performance wise, I'm actually pretty impressed. I think the e.l.f. one did a scotch better, that dark shade. What now? I don't have anything, unfortunately, that's super similar in these. We can do something. Okay. So two colors that are similar are the last like pink shimmer in this one and then this second one here. So we're going to put those in the center of the lid and then we'll try one more comparison in this in the inner corner. See what happens. See what the hell happens. All right. Um, what brush? Same brush is the hard part. Okay, I think we got it. So I'm gonna use this blue one for the e.l.f. palette. Oh, okay. Initially dipped into the wrong shape, but I think I got it. So let's put her kind of over here. That's pretty. See that? Okay, I'm gonna leave this little inner corner blank. Now we're gonna dip into the Natasha Denona one. Do the same thing, kind of fill in. This one already seems like more less pigmented. I don't know. Let's see. I guess that. I guess she's like more purpley. I will say the other one kind of went on better, like uh, it saturates that lid more, you can see. I'm gonna have to work a lot harder to put this one on than the other one. This one's less big. So I don't know where that video cut off at. Um, but I finished up the eye using this little second guy in the Natasha Denona palette, or in the e.l.f. palette, and then this guy in the Natasha Denona palette. And I would say the one in the e.l.f. palette didn't look 100% true to like what the pan looked like. It looked more like white blue on the lid, and in here it looks more champagne. This one is pretty true to color, um, but I mean, pretty. you can't tell like a huge difference, I would say. Obviously the base 
is a little bit different, but overall, not too bad. Once you put mascara on, unless somebody's like really into it, this one's a little bit brighter. But unless someone's like really up in your in your biz, they probably can't tell. Um, I'm gonna throw some on the lower lash line really quick. If we wanted, we could try a dupe, a little dupe. I can use my Well People mascara versus conventional mascara. Do I have one? Yeah, I'll just use the Bambi Eye Mascara. They both have spiky wands like I like. They're both spiky. This is the Bambi Eye one. This is the Well People one. Well People is a clean brand. I would say if we're going by price, the Bambi Eye one might be more uh, affordable. But the Well People one is 20 bucks, but it's also good ingredients and I don't have any problem it's like my favorite mascara ever, so I'm going to go with the Bambi Eye on the Natasha Denona Eye. I should have done it on the other eye, but I didn't. This is also waterproof, um, so that's a little bit different, but <clears throat> I think it just lasts longer, probably. I prefer these type of wands. I just think they do a better job of separating your lashes. But, okay. So that is that eye. And then, Superstar over here. This is my favorite mascara ever. It's just the best. The consistency, the brush. Like, it just, already I love it so much. More, excuse me. Yeah. It's just... And that is the Well People one. It's just my favorite. Like, this one's okay. It's not bad. This one I love. I can't get over it. So I'm going to do two coats of that. <clears throat> I'm going to do them both sides because... I'm poking yourself on the friggin' eye. Alright. Cute! I have to wash my brushes. I don't want to. My sponges. So last thing I have is a lipstick. No comparison. Just straight up trying it on. And this is in Seriously Satin Taffy by e.l.f. I guess the line is Seriously Satin and then the color is Taffy. It's a really cute mauve shade, goes with our eye look. Just got a clear little tube. What's this? I'm not good at lining my lips anyways. I'm like, eh, what's the point? Ugh. It doesn't go with my <laughs> eye look at all. Um, but I do think it's a cute color. It's definitely cute for summer. Just not with what I have going on up here. It's a lot. I'd probably go with uh, something nude on the lips. Um, but it's fun and the consistency is nice. I had to layer it a little bit to get like a full, uh, full opacity out of it. But not bad. You can hear my coaster. He hasn't been down here in a while. I do have a little bit of fallout on the face and the eyeshadow. My eyebrows are wild as hell still. Nothing's changed there. Alright you guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video, a little dupe action. Uh, I think all in all, I think the drugstore really uh, has stepped up its game and it can it can fight pretty well against some pretty expensive brands so it just depends on where you fall and what, where you like to spend your money but I'm pretty happy I think both sides look great um, obviously I've only been wearing it for less than probably half an hour but so far so good and I really like how everything turned out thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below and have a great weekend bye guys